What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we have a Dragon Ball character. We're gonna do Broly in Super Saiyan form. So not like um, legendary green hair Saiyan form, just yellow hair, right? So I'm on landscape page. My page size is A2. I see a couple of people asking in the comments. A2, but you could use A3. A3 would work. And even A4, if you're using like a sharp pencil would be fine as well. Um, that's totally fine, let's go. Okay, so center point of my page is about here. We're just gonna drop a little bit and we're gonna start with the frown in the middle of his head just cause his hair is so big. So we're just below halfway. And we start with this sort of W shape, All right? So you just go around. And up like that, so start with a W. And then his eyebrows come out from here Right, so you, they can touch it, or you can do another line and curve. So you've got some choices. And then this goes up, like so, around and down, there. And then we've got like the square end on the eyebrow. Like a lot of this eyebrow is covered in hair, so don't worry too much about this. It's like just the, the front part here. We get wider as we go up, right? Like that. Let me do the same thing pretty much on the other side. Line there. Up. And curves down. And then the square end. And then we bring it back. Down this way. So roughly, that's how you do Dragon Ball eyebrows. So then, his eyes, square eyes, small line, large line, and then you join them together with a curved line. Then over here, small line, and a large line, and then you curve a line together to join the bottoms. And I think the edges of his eyes are just a little bit darker than standard. It's like he's nearly gone into his rage mode. So we're just thicken these up a little bit. Kind of like that. Right, and then on top we just have some frown lines here. Like that. And then his nose. So we just do a line straight down at first. And then it kind of comes across like an L and then it goes diagonal that way. Like a little hook just there. And in Dragon Ball, we have the shadow drawn in on the side of the nose. So you just do a kind of a triangle on this side up there and back to the nearly to the top of the nose there. So he does have like a couple of frown lines and things on his nose here. All right, just wrinkles kind of thing, just to make it look like he's angry. And then tick marks on his cheeks. Most Saiyans have this in Dragon Ball anyway. And then his mouth, so we can see his teeth, right? He's gritting his teeth, he's like, pressing them together. So they, they actually start underneath his nose. They like come along underneath the nose here, right? So the mouth top lip comes out from underneath the nose there. And then this comes down both sides like that. And then we go down a little bit further like so. And then the bottom lip underneath like that. And his teeth there shadow under the bottom lip now if i go too fast just hit that pause button and then we have wrinkle lines just on the side of his mouth kind of stretch lines for the skin and then his chin roughly here okay so like in terms of proportion dragon ball characters are kind of in proportion 
it's like say the middle of his eyes to the bottom of his nose is about the same as bottom of his nose to the chin so just like the bottom of his nose is about halfway from say if he had if he had an eye in there like where his pupil would be so like here to here is about the same as here to here okay so that's like a rough proportion just to keep your face so you don't want like down here to be too big and up here too big just if you're if you're wondering um Right, and then his jaw, bring it up, and you want to stop just kind of underneath the edge of his eye, or his eyebrow here. Right, kind of like that, because that's where you change direction and go up the side of his face, right? So you'll go up there. Up here. Um, and he's got a scar on his face here. Like so. And he seems to have like a frown in the middle of his forehead as well. Okay, so now hair. So he's got lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. Did I say lots? And lots of hair. So he's got like a fringe that comes out of the top of his head here, right? So we'll go up, down, across his eye. So any lines you go over, you can either color over or just erase. Like so. Then we bring it down. And then next side, up, down, around his eye here. And into the middle and then he'll have some hairlines just in here you know for his sort of fringe area like that next one out down there and, and no he's loads of hair there's another one here right. and then the rest of his face line kind of goes up in there and then next one sticks out this side In. And then another one in here. And we'll finish his face up in there. And then we can see like some of his ears in under here. So his ear just comes around like that. And line it up with the bottom of the other one. Over there. And bone the ligaments on the inside. So these kind of lines, you know, inside his ear. Like that. I always call them bones and ligaments, but I think they're cartilage. There's no bones in there. Uh, right, so the rest of his hair. So we got some more hair just here coming down onto his neck. Another small spike here. And another one, say here. And then we have large spikes and we start to go up around the biggest spike of all on top right so this spike comes down this one will go behind his shoulder right so i'll stop it here roughly where his shoulder will be you can bring it to us to a, a point a spike and erase it if you want but i'll just stop there because it's easier it's easier for me anyway <laughs> and the hair spike comes out this way on this side we're not like totally symmetrical on both sides so we're a little bit different there's another one that goes behind the shoulder but i'll draw his shoulder first before i do that one right so we do have a hair spike coming up the middle here all right it's like another layer and then there's four I come down in the line this way. Up to there. Back down. Next one behind it. This one. Down one, two, three, and a fourth small one here. Okay. 
and then two coming down this side, right? So one starting here, and then to there, and then this one, and into here, and then one sticking right up here. like it gets like narrower as we go in it's kind of like a candle flame or something right so that one there goes to a point right at the top of my page now this hair is really big so like the main thing about his whole face will like fit maybe up to just like halfway his hair so like this goes like once twice three times nearly Right, so his hair is really big. And then there's a couple more in behind. So like one in here. Like so, right, and then he's got texture lines all over, right? So basically what you do is you just add these kind of lines going down each hair spike, right? And you can do this any way. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine, you know? You just do them like this. And you just kind of do that all over. Right, but I think that's enough. You can do more if you want. You can do as many texture lines as you would like. So then we'll go down and start some of his neck, right? So neck muscle comes down from his jaw into here. Down from his jaw into there. Right, and then his chest just here in the middle and his chest muscles come across. They go in behind the armor so we can't see all of it, right? So that's his chest muscle, neck muscle. There's more neck muscle lines just like here. Like so. And then his trapezius comes out this way. Real muscly guy now. Like that. And then the collar for his armor comes out around here, right? So it's gonna go just around this whole area. Right, and this has more muscles than inside. So extra muscle going out to his shoulder here and then like another neck muscle here here and just some like hatching on his trapezius or something like that so then edge line for his uniform Move around again center line for his chest then comes down here and we have this green jewel or something just in the middle Right. So in chest muscle lines go diagonal this way, right? Like so. And then in around roughly down this way. It goes off my page. If you more room, feel free to just join it to this sort of Julie part down here. Or if you have more room on your page, you can always cut your page. Trade secret. If your drawing's like too small on your page, just cut your page. If you run out of room, tape more page onto here. Yeah. Make your page bigger. That's what I always used to do anyway. Uh, right, so then his big shoulder pad. 
Douche. And then we got a bump here. And then comes around. Oop, page moving. Going this way. Down there. And then this has like an, a rim edge. Go down this way and down. And this has like two green sections curving there. There. Chest muscle. Mm -hmm. And then on this side, we do the same thing. So, that bump. This goes down. And roughly the same on both sides. And you just trace around your edge again. So there, and maybe like another line just there on the chest muscle area. And then these curving lines on the green section just here. And then shoulders, shoulder going that way. Tricep sticks out, down, back to there. And then the bicep sort of joins the shoulder, it like forms the shoulder a little bit. Right, like so, and you can have some like extra muscle fiber lines on his shoulder here. Same on the other side, shoulder curved line, tricep going down that way, bicep would fit in less on this side for some reason, and then deltoid muscles that way, like that. Uh, oh, and a little bit more hair just in behind here. But that's it. That is how to draw a Broly Super Saiyan 1, I guess. That's what we'll call it anyway. Hope it's helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.